Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to prepare for macOS pass through uh, in Proxmox. So if you're looking at our Hackintosh or virtualizing macOS videos, uh, this is how you would uh, prepare to pass through your GPU to your VM. So you can see we're on Proxbox here. Uh, this is obviously my main server install, but yours will be very clean. All you need to do is visit the link in the description below where Tor has created a guide uh, that we can follow through. Uh, so first we need to look at the BIOS. Again, BIOSes are very different depending on your motherboard manufacturer, uh, but you need to enable these settings. I won't go through these because again, even if I showed you my BIOS, it would not look the same as yours. Um, but I'm on AMD, uh, just so you know today, just so you can reference the right parts of the guide if you're on Intel. So the first thing we need to do is run this command. So it's a mobprobd kvm conf file. Uh, if we click copy next to the command, paste that into the shell under the node, open that up, it's blank, but we're going to copy this and paste it in. So, control X, Y and enter, that saves the document. Then if we go back again, you've got two different uh, boot arguments. If you're using Intel, copy this command and this command. If you're using AMD like me, copy these, this command and this command. So if I copy that command, and I'm on AMD, we're going to commentate this one. Go down, do a space until there's a blank uh, space there. Copy this one and paste it like so. It should look similar to mine. Obviously, if you're on Intel, they'll be different. Uh, but make sure that the one above's commented out and the new one's pasted in below it. Control X, Y, and enter again. We're going to scroll down um, to update Grub. This is only if you're using ZFS. If you're not, uh, don't touch those. Uh, but we're going to do the update Grub command. And then once Grub's updated, Grub's the bootloader for Proxmox. Once it says done, we're going to reboot the machine. Uh, obviously, I'll do that in the background because I need to shut down all my virtual machines, uh, but I will be back on Proxmox once I've done so. See you in a moment. So, we've now rebooted the system. Um, so, if we run the next command, uh, again, this is a dual command. So, if you're on Intel, you run the top one. If you're on AMD like me, you copy the bottom one and paste that into the shell. You should see... Uh, IOMMU loaded and initialized. If you don't see that, uh, either your CPU um, or obviously motherboard doesn't support IOMMU, uh, it's not enabled in the BIOS or you've done the previous steps wrong. Whichever that is, if you need help, please visit the Discord or create a support ticket on our support website. Once we've done that, let's go to the ETC modules. This is for all CPUs. Um, so we open that up and then paste the um, commands in. Again, it's a copy and paste guide. Uh, there's not much input from you. Uh, control X, Y and enter it. Uh, update the init RAM FS. Um, and then there's a few things left. Um, so it's pretty straightforward from here. There's just one command that I do need to go through uh, more extensively, um, which is obviously um, actually blacklisting your uh, GPU IDs. Uh, which allows you to boot macOS more smoothly, uh, so it's really recommended. Um, but if we scroll down uh, and copy this next command whilst we wait for this, paste it in. If it says the interrupt remapping is enabled, it means it's supported. If it doesn't, uh, add the following command. Uh, I always add this anyway. Uh, you don't need to at all, but it personally helps my GPU uh, to get virtualized by a low and unsafe interrupt. Uh, so I'm going to paste that in. It can cause instabilities in your system, uh, but I've not really found any. Next, we're going to blacklist all of our drivers. So we comment that one out with the hash sign and then paste the following. Control X, Y and enter. Again, it's a copy and paste guide. Um, if we scroll all the way down, you can do this uh, to have a look at the Iowa MMU groups. Please do it. Uh, if you really want to, um, but I'm going to go to blacklisting your devices. If I copy that, and then where it says device, I'm just going to put VGA, and then it'll give me my two GPUs because I've got two GPUs in the system. Uh, I'm going to whitelist them both. So what I recommend is opening up a notepad uh, and copying these fields in there, uh, so you're ready for the next command. 
Um, so I'm doing both of those. If you only have one GPU, I'll show you what to do in a moment. The next command, um, which if we go into this file here, uh, it, it is blank, but if we copy this command here, and all we need to do, if we get rid of all the stuff uh, after IDs, we're gonna copy the first ID. If you've only got one GPU, you just need to leave it like that. If you've got two, do a comma, and then copy the second one. Again, they can be in whatever order. You can use uh, Disable VGA. I'm going to leave that on, so I'm going to use Disable VGA. If you use CBIOS, though, uh, as it says in the guide, um, you can obviously uh, prevent them from booting. But apart from that, uh, just leave it on um, Disable uh, VGA. So, Control X, Y, and Enter. And then we're going to reboot the system once again. So, I'm going to reboot this system now, and then I'll meet you back on this screen. So, the system's rebooted. Now, we're ready to pass it through to a virtual machine. So, I'm going to use this Cloud Gaming for an example. I've already actually passed this through, but if I remove it. Uh, if we go to Add, PCI Device, Raw Device, and then select it. Mine's here. You don't want the audio device. Never pass the audio device through just the root GPU. Because if you look at the IOM and MU groups, they're in the same group, which means they both get passed through together. If I click on that, go on Advanced, tick All Functions, PCI Express and Primary GPU, click on Add, set the display to None, and then boot up the system, uh, which I'll do now. We should then see in Windows, um, or Mac OS in fact, uh, that we've got an RX 570 pass through. So. I'll get that booted up uh, and I'll meet you on the remote desktop screen. So we're remoted in through IDP on the virtual machine. If we go to Task Manager, you can see RX 570 is now passed through. You can see we've got 8 gigs of VRAM and we can see the GPU temperature which is pulled directly from the hardware, which is what is great using Proxmox, is it's the actual GPU, nothing's virtualized, it's directly passed through to the virtual machine. If you did like this video or you need any help, please visit the Discord server. Apart from that, uh, if you did enjoy watching, consider subscribing for more videos like this and also consider uh, checking the description below uh, for the full blog post with all the commands. Uh, but thanks for watching. Goodbye.